Hey everyone, this is a follow-up to a video that I made last year about how to convert a PDF to Excel. I always make sure to look through all the comments on my videos, and in this one in particular, I received a lot of positive feedback, which was heartwarming to see. I also received a couple of questions on the topic, which I'm going to try my best to answer in this video. And with that said, let's hop on in. Now this user asked how to select multiple tables to be imported into an Excel sheet. So I have the Tesla Q2 2023 presentation open here, and within this PDF, let's say that I want to import two tables. The first table being this financial summary table, which is located on page 4, and this operational summary table, which is located on page 6. So let's head on back to Excel and import this PDF. So here we are back in Excel, we have a brand new workbook, and I'm just going to go up to the data tab, then go to get data, and then I'm going to click from file, then click from PDF. And then we just have to find the PDF we want to import, which is our Tesla Q2 2023 update file. So I'll just double click this, and it will connect to it, and then we get our navigator pane here. On the left hand side we can see all of the different tables contained within this Q2 2023 update file, and we can specifically see the tables on page 4 and on page 6. We can click into each table, and we'll be able to see a preview of what the information looks like over here on the right. Now the question was how do we select multiple tables to import into Excel? So to do this, all we have to do is check this checkbox up here to select multiple items, and then we just have to check off which tables we want to import. So we know that our financial summary table was located on page 4, and our operational summary table was located on page 6. So to bring these tables into Power Query, all we're going to do is click this Transform Data button. So here in Power Query, I'm just going to filter out the empty rows containing no data for each of the tables. So for this first table, I'm just going to head up to here, click this button, and then I'm going to click Remove Empty. This will remove all the empty rows of this table, and I'm going to do the same thing for the next table. So just going to click this Filter button up here, click Remove Empty, and now we removed all the empty lines. So now that I'm finished, I'm just going to click Close and Load, and this will load this information into a table in our workbook. Now in my previous video, we did some more transformations in Power Query, so you can check out that video up here. And just like that, we have multiple tables imported into our Excel workbook that we can now start working with. Now this user asked how to handle situations where PDFs contain tables with merged cells. For this question, I actually have two examples to show. In this PDF, I have two tables, and we're just going to focus on Table 1 for now. Taking a closer look at Table 1, we see that the category column has the word clothing merged into one cell. And within the clothing category, we have three products and the corresponding sales figures. So let's go ahead and import this table into Excel and see why merged cells can cause issues. So here we are in Excel, and we're just going to go and import this PDF by clicking the Data tab up here, Get Data, From File, From PDF. Here's our file that we want to import, so we'll just double click. And on the left side we see our two tables, and we're just going to click Table 1. And instead of bringing it into Power Query, I'm just going to straight up load it into our Excel workbook. So I'm just going to click the Load button, and this will load our table into our worksheet. Now here's where the merge cells can cause issues. Let's say that I want to filter on just the products in the clothing category. Well, I should just be able to filter the category column for the word clothing, but look what happens when I do that. I only get the product dress, and I'm missing the other two products. And that's because when we unfilter this and we look at the jeans and t-shirt products, in the category column we have blanks. So we need to be able to fill those blanks with the word clothing in order for our filtering to work properly. So to edit a query, all we have to do is double click the query over here, which will bring up the query editor. So in the query editor, we can actually see the blanks, or nulls to be more specific, for our table. So in order to fill these null values, I'm just going to right click the category header, then click the fill option, and then click down. 
and now all our null values are replaced with the right category. So now that we've made our edit, we're just going to click close and load, which will refresh our table. And now we're able to filter properly. So if I just want to see all the ones that are for clothing, I just select clothing from here. And now we filter our table properly. Now let's go back to our PDF and focus on table two now, which has a little bit more complexity to it. Here we are back in our PDF and let's take a look at table two. We don't have a merge cell in our category column, but when we look at the product column, we can see that all the products have merged into a single cell and our corresponding sales figures are also merged into a single cell. Now taking a closer look at how the product column relates to the, let's say the Q1 2024 sales figures, we can see that dresses sold 1100 units, jeans sold 1300 units, and t-shirts sold 2800 units. Let's go ahead and import this into Excel and see how this can cause issues and then we'll go ahead and fix it. So here we are back in Excel and we're just going to import our file again. So data, get data from file from PDF. And I'm going to select the PDF, double click. And this time we're going to import table two. And I'm going to bring it into Power Query by clicking transform data. So here's our table in Power Query, and the only transformation I'm going to make so far is to use first rows as headers. And now we have proper headers for our table. So from here, I'm just going to click close and load, and I'll bring this and load it into one of our worksheets. So the issue that these merged cells presents is let's say that I want to add all the sales figures for our clothing category in Q1 2024. Well, I can't just sum the numbers because there's three numbers contained in one cell. A simple act of adding up sales figures becomes a really difficult thing to do. So what we have to do using Power Query is to unmerge these cells so that there's three cells containing three numbers. All of this has to be done while making sure that the numbers correspond to the products. So to get back into Power Query, we'll just double click the query here and then that will bring up our query editor. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click the category column here and I'm going to select unpivot other columns. This will take all the other columns except for the category one and pivot them to appear as a single column with their values appearing in this value column. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the value column and then right click it and then go to where it says split column and I'm going to select by delimiter. So if I move this over to the right, we can see that the delimiter is currently selected as semicolon and that's exactly what the delimiter is in our column. Now from here, I'm gonna click OK. And now we split our column into three separate ones. So it looks like we're getting closer to our goal now. So the next step that I'll take here is I'm gonna select these three columns by holding down the control key. And then I'm gonna right click and unpivot columns. So here we're actually getting pretty close. We have our clothing in our category column we have the other headers under this attribute column, and then we have the values within those columns under this value column. So the next thing that I'm gonna do here is pivot this attribute column by the values. So to do this, I'm just gonna select the attribute column and then go up to the transform tab, then click on pivot column. And so the values that I want to appear under the columns after this is done, is going to be the values in this value column. Now if I open up this advanced options menu, it's going to default to count and I don't want to just count it. I don't want to do anything to it at all. I just want the values that are currently there. Then I'm going to click OK. And now we're almost 99% done. We can see that for each category of clothing, we can see that each line is specific to a product and their sales figures as a single number in each cell, which is exactly what we are hoping to achieve. Now there's a couple more things that we need to do in order to clean this data up. So the first thing is we want to remove this column. So I'm just gonna right click and then click remove. And right now the sales figures for each of the quarters are formatted as text, which we can see with this ABC here 
as well as we can see that the numbers are aligned to the left side of the cells, whereas normally, numbers are aligned to the right side. So to convert them back to numbers, we're just going to select each of the columns by using the, using the control key, and then I'm going to right click, and then go to change type, and then click whole number. And now we formatted them as numbers. And now we're 100% complete. We can go ahead and go back to the home tab and then click close and load. And this will refresh our table. Now after all of that transformation in Power Query, we can now sum up all the sales figures for certain products or categories. So let's say that we want to filter for our category clothing and we want to add up all the sales figures for all of the quarters. So I just have the category filtered, then I'll apply the total row to our table, and then I'll just copy the formula for the rest of the quarters. And now we're able to successfully add up all the individual sales figures for our products. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.